We all know how important entourage, like people, trees, cars are to a story. It's there to add scale, to humanize the scene and to really inject something positive and dynamic to the composition. So in this tutorial, I want to show you how to effectively bring in an entourage like a person. And this is the same workflow that I would use for cars and other sort of entourage into a story. We want to go to a website like Mr. Cutout. So let's go and find a person now. So what I'm looking for is in order to add something that's maybe in this area, let's pretend that there's a person washing the dishes or walking towards the window. What I'm going to find is a person that suits that criteria. So someone who is standing, maybe looking towards the window, something like this may work. What I'm going to do first is to actually just enlarge the screen and I'm going to do a quick screen capture like this. So what I'm going to do here is to actually crop this on my iPad like I have here and I'm going to go to the export or the share button. Now the cool tip here is you can click, you can hit to copy this person. And what that's going to do is now that's been copied to the clipboard. You can go back to your drawing surface and you can paste this to either with three fingers to swipe down or you can paste under the menu option under add and hit paste. Now this person is going to come into the space as a solid because this is a solid JPEG and it's really blocking the drawing behind it. So what I'm going to do first is flip this horizontally so that this person is actually facing the window and it's looking like she's doing the dishes. And now with that deselected, what I'm going to do now is to put this on a blending mode. And what this is going to do is to get rid of the white background. So now I have this person kind of facing the window and now it's really to determine how tall that person needs to be. I typically do this by eye, but you can generally have a good sense of the scale just based on how high the counter or the table. So in this case, I think this is about the right height for the person. What I would do now is to actually turn off the background and I'll actually reduce the opacity and I'll create a new layer. Since I'm drawing this first time again, I just want to make sure the pen that I've selected is actually the right size. So I think this is about the right size pen weight that I am going to use to trace over it. So with the background deselected, now I'm simply going to trace over this woman with the new layer that I built above. And you can see how quickly I can do is just to get the outline of a person, include as much detail as needed to fit the level of detail in the story. I know this is probably the amount of detail that I'm hoping to include and I'll add a little bit more as necessary, but this is right about where I think the detail is sufficient. With that done, what I'm going to do right now is to deselect the reference image and I am going to turn on the background. Now you can see there's a clear problem where this person is, you're seeing through this person. So there's a couple ways to get around it. You can either erase the part of the background drawing to permanently erase that and that will have the person show up. Or what you can do is to, for a less invasive method, what you can do is to click on this image and create a mask for this drawing. Similar to Photoshop, if you have a bigger pen selected with black, now you're painting on this mask. And what painting on this mask will do is to basically hide the part where you don't want to see. And this is the part where the person should be covering the, the background or the architecture or the design behind it. And now if you make a mistake in here, simply hit the opposite color, which is white, simply hit white again to bring back some of that. Since that's not what we want to do, I'm actually going to continue with my black paintbrush and I'm going to go over the area where I'm still kind of seeing through the person. So right about here is where I have most coverage. And you can see very quickly, this is how I would add a person here. And I would do the same thing if I wanted to have a dog in this area or some things that I want in the scene to really humanize and to add scale to the story. So hopefully that was useful. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. See you next time.